captured soldier. Um, oh, that story John Moore just had. Those Democrats, they're pretty clever people. They've rolled back their deadline for to decide on a congressional candidate to this Thursday, which coincidentally is the day after the Republicans are supposed to decide. I think on this, the Republican Democrats seem to be playing chess and the Republicans are playing checkers. Uh, it, it, Republicans should now roll theirs back to Friday in this little game of checking because everybody wants to see who the other candidate rolls out. I mean, it, there is a difference uh, as to how they approach it. Uh, now, yesterday, uh, Republican congressional hopeful Matt Doheny said he's raised nearly $300,000 from individual donors in the past few weeks in addition to the half million he put in all in an effort to demonstrate to uh, party insiders that he has the means, not just the uh, desire to run for the United States Congress. Money is the mother's milk of politics, and it's uh, money talks, and you know what walks. And uh, so uh, that's what he's trying to demonstrate. On the other hand, uh, his primary or his uh, principal challenger would be Assemblywoman Deidre Skozafava, who is, of course, uh, Obviously, uh, at, at various meetings, playing the angle, uh, you've known me, I've worked with you before, and uh, come on, let's not get off the reservation type thing. So um, we'll see. Does the money guy work or, or whatever? Anyway, um, 755-1240 is the phone number. And supposedly these decisions are supposed to be coming due this week. Now, Ted Ford tells me that these are not for people like you and I to be involved with. These are for the party poobahs to decide. But uh, the party poobahs, I guess, are going to uh, um, decide who's going to be the congressional candidates, uh, who will replace Congressman John McHugh. Widely believe the Democratic nominee will be Senator Darrell Albertine. There's much jockeying around, and we had Danny Francis in the other day, and Danny's a great guy, and I listened to the show Friday, and I said, this guy really has uh, sort of come of age in, in, in local politics. He, he does seem to have the knowledge base, uh, regardless of what you think of uh, statements or campaigns he's been involved in in the past. But that isn't what's going to matter. This is about electability and fundraising. And uh, my, that, uh, my contention is that uh, it's pretty obvious that Darrell Overtime will be the Democratic nominee. On the Republican side, uh, boy, I'll tell you, it's... Uh, uh, conventional wisdom would be uh, Didi Skozafava, and she said she's coming in on the show this week, and she better. But uh, on the other hand, this Dohini guy is raising money, and he's out there meeting people and making uh, an impression. Obviously, he's got a name recognition thing to overcome, but, uh, boy, I just don't know really uh, how to handicap that race. I mean, uh, each of them has attributes they bring, but each of them has some... Uh, some tough things as far as a candidate and I, I still don't think and that these folks in general understand that this is not one of these old style North Country Republican team uh, run for the assembly type uh, races or run for whatever else you run for where everything's pretty collegial and friendly and maybe there's a little cattiness here and there but that's about it this is going to be rough and tumble this is the only congressional race occurring in the United States of America this year it is a seminal point for both parties. The Republicans have to staunch the bleeding. The Democrats want to drive a stake through the heart of a GOP in the Northeast. This is Rahm Emanuel being involved in this, a guy who will leave a dead fish in your driveway and did to one person. Uh, these are not nice people. These are uh, these are people that are uh, make these uh, people who are involved in the Senate campaigns up here a year or two ago look kind of mild by comparison. It's going to get rough, folks, and it's going to get personal. And, and you're going to say, oh, I hate the personal attacks. I want to talk about the issue. But it's going to be defined by who you're electing. And um, they're going to go after these folks. And the Republicans have already pledged to go after Darrell Albertine. They're going to take his Senate record where he's had to vote for these budgets and, and his associations and, you know, the Pedro Espada thing and everything. They're going to rub his nose in that. On the other side, the Democrats have made it quite clear that uh, depending on who the nominee is, if it's Tahini, it's going to be a Wall Street inside trader uh, sort of uh, like, uh, what's his name? Michael Douglas played in that movie, Wall Street type character, outsider, uh, interloper of everything else. If it's uh, Ms. Skozafava, uh, they're going to play the liberal card on her and uh, try to drive the wedge there. And uh, whether she thinks it's appropriate or not, uh, they're going to bring up her family's finances with all this wise buys things and all of that. Uh, even though I know she doesn't think it's an appropriate subject and this told me as such. That's not going to stop it. I don't care what's going on. It would be like if I got into the congressional race and didn't expect to hear about quick draw. Of course, you're going to hear about it in spades, and you're going to clip headlines out of newspapers uh, and make them look like anything you want. And words like 
probe, bankruptcy, uh, you know, anything, uh, hot button words like that that have appeared in headlines adjacent to your name or to a, someone who also shares a name with you, you, you just run those type of things and float them out there on the internet. So let me tell you, it's going to get nasty. Anyone who thinks it isn't is naive. And uh, anybody who gets too close to it is going to get burned. So what we're going to do is try to maintain a safe distance from the bonfire and kind of watch it and maybe stick a marshmallow in once in a while and toast it, uh, but generally try to steer clear of all the embers and smoke and flames uh, emanating from it. But it's going to be a, a, an intense, relatively brief, a very expensive, and exceedingly nasty congressional race coming up. And I uh, hope you enjoy it and hope you enjoy our coverage of it. We'll be back with more in just a moment. We just don't say it often enough. Thank you for listening to the station that listens to you. The News and Talk Authority, WATN, AM 1240. Buying a car from FX Capri.